Hello, my name is Jonathan Falco and I'm an engineer here at Keysight Technologies. Today, we're going to be comparing the 12 edge jitter measurements of the legacy DCAX with the new and improved DCAX. Let's take a look. Here we have the legacy 86100D mainframe with the 86108B precision waveform analyzer. Above it, we have the new N1000A mainframe with the N1060A precision waveform analyzer. The source we are using is a M8196A 92 giga samples arbitrary waveform generator, and it is generating a PAM4 PRBS13Q at 26.5625 gigabaud. The setup is almost identical for both instruments. Both have two electrical channels, clock recovery, and precision time base. Each is set up for a differential channel, 33 gigahertz, four pole bessel, using System Impulse Response Correction, or CIRC. There are two differences to note. The legacy 86108B has external phase shifters for de-skewing, while the N1060 has integrated hardware de-skewing capability. The other difference is the N1060 has integrated variable equalizers in the clock path, making it better able to handle closed eyes. Both instruments are fully calibrated and in eye mask mode. We will enter jitter mode and perform the 12 edge jitter parameter measurement at the same time on both instruments and compare the measured results. Let's begin. PRBS 13Q is 8,191 symbols long, and already we can see the results on the N1060. As you can tell, the N1060 is much faster. These improvements are due to a faster sampling rate on both the mainframe and the module, and a new counterboard architecture. For more information, visit our website. Thank you for watching.